Hello everyone. It's been a while. Last time I uploaded a video about, I don't know, a Polaroid 100 with an NA adapter or, I don't know, shooting roll film. But this time I wanted to show you guys something completely different, uh, which is a camera I built about one and a half years ago. And this is a Polaroid 100NA which accepts um, Instax wide film like this pack here. But first of all, let's open the camera up. If you're watching this video, you probably know about <laughs> how a Polaroid camera works. So I go straight for the Instax pack. That's what you are probably here for. This was an old Instax 210, I guess. I guess it was, which was broken. And instead of throwing it away, I thought well, maybe I can modify it to to um, put it on some kind of camera. And this is what I came up with. What I did basically is to cut off the front of the old Instax camera and um, screw it onto this camera body, which sounds easy, but wasn't, <laughs> as you can imagine. It was a lot of measuring. I open it up so you can see. This is all the Instax body and this is plywood, which is a mount to, to connect to the camera itself. Um, I uploaded a lot of videos, uh, not videos, pictures on my Flickr account. Um, I will put a link in the video description so you can see what I did. Maybe you can see it better now. Um, the Instax back is connected with four screws. The fourth one is under here to the plywood and the plywood is connected with another four screws to the to the body. I show you the front. Maybe you can see it. One, two, three and four back there. Which is pretty pretty solid. If you want to try to do this yourself, yeah, you can do it, no problem. But it takes time, a lot of time to measure out, um, especially if you haven't done this before. This is uh, the fourth camera I built, not with Instax, but others. I converted, for example, um, a Polaroid 110A to pack film, a Polaroid 800 also to pack film. Then what did I again? A Polaroid 150 to a 4x5 film, and this is the fourth camera. But back to the body of the Instax camera. Um, this is powered by four AA batteries, which you can see here. And with this switch, you activate the back that it ejects the photos with this lever here. If I turn it on, this lever comes up and it checks the photos. Let's give it a try. And it goes down. You have to guesstimate a bit when injecting photos. So when it comes up, you simply, you simply stop um, the switch and it's all good. I never had a problem with that to eject two photos or more. Yeah. Um, the camera itself, the body was a Polaroid 150. The body itself, not the lens, which I bought really, really cheap because um, the, the housing here was broken. It was cracked and a piece was missing, but I could repair it fairly easily um, with filler and glue and painted it, you can barely see any marks left. 
Um, when the project turned out pretty good, I decided to upgrade it uh, to a Polaroid 110A. So I salvaged this front plate and the shutter from an old Polaroid 110A and switch, simply switched it out. Um, a 150 has the same body as a Polaroid 110A, so it wasn't so difficult. Yeah. This is another gimmick here. Um, I wanted to try something different, so I bought this piece of wood from a local pet store. This is, I don't know, if it goes inside of an aquarium, this kind of wood. It's really heavy and really dense and hard. So I shaped it and it fits really nice. Um, it's held by a threaded rod, M3, which connects over here and here and goes all through the wood. It's really, really rock solid. Another feature is this wink light up here, which came with a camera and I thought why throw it away. <laughs> so I modified it with, uh, I guess, a 10 watt LED and a few 9 volt batteries, which we can switch on here. It's a nice gimmick. I never really used it, but it looks really nice. <laughs> you can also put it away and use, for example, um, a, a flash or something like that. I made a photo about it on Flickr, but I, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I have to say I rarely use this camera. Since I finished it, it was only lying around. I don't know. That's kind of who I am. I built something and never use it again, I guess. <laughs> um, I also built a filter adapter for this camera to accept um, 52 millimeter filters of all kinds, like this one back here, reds and UV filters. It's actually pretty cool. You screw it on and simply snap it on there. And it's on. Pretty cool actually. Not that I need it with Instax film, but <laughs> like I said, I have had, uh, I have other cameras with pack film, for example, which are also uh, which can also accept this filter adapter. There are, however, um, original Polaroid filters like like this one, which I have an only for collecting purposes. And I guess they are not that not that good anymore. This is a yellow and orange filter, I guess, which I also got really cheap. Yeah, these exist, but they are rare. And I would go for something like this, if you want to use filters. But with, what is really, really cool is this macro set. This is a thing you can make a whole video on its own <laughs> because you have to measure the range. Oh, there goes my pencil, sorry. You have to measure the range and get the right lenses to get it in focus. It's a bit, a bit complicated, but but it works. There are also pictures on my Flickr account. Yeah, that's about it, uh, about the photo. I put the wink light back on there. It looks nice. There it goes. And that's it. My Polaroid 110A which accepts Instax Film. 
Yeah. Now, why the hell not? I put it in there so you can see how it works. It's the whole purpose of the video, isn't it? <laughs> this is more like an impromptu video. I haven't really scripted it or anything. Yeah, that's the cartridge. Like an Instax camera, you put it in there. The little yellow thing up there. So you can see that it's in here. And then it checked the slide. Stop it and you're ready to go. I take a picture and show you the injecting process. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I've taken a picture and let's see how it turns out. Like I said, you have to, sh you have to push this button and the photo ejects and I stop it when it's almost out. And there it is. Let's see how it turned out. Yeah, it can take a while. Yep, a quick shot, nothing special, slightly aimed too high, but, but it works. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.